Hey guys, this is a few weeks later. We're in the new house, still in the process of moving everything around and unpacking and cleaning and it's been hectic. Sort of went to bed at 2 a.m. last night and then the movers came to help unpack this morning at about 6.30. So yeah, I'm just tired and want to nap, but I will finish this video and get it up for you guys because you've been waiting for so long and it's even not even that exciting of a video, so I'm sorry, but I hope you enjoy. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement and I'm reading it slow so I can understand it fully. The plan for this video is I need to do a basic service on the cruiser, which is just engine and oil filter. Try to do it every 5,000 kilometers, but driving back from Logger, going to Melbourne, going in the snow, doing little trips, it ended up being about 7,000 since my last one. That is super close. It's thoroughly disturbing. As you can see, <laughs> if you just come outside, all of the stuff will just magically be here. But first, beer. The biggest decision of the first beer. I lied, it's not my first beer. I've had many beers today. I've had all the beers today. The hardest decision being which stubby cooler. Amazing girls, and they're doing some awesome stuff. Check them out. Now that you've got your fluids, you are ready to start. I never made it, but I know what it takes. I'm motivated by a mix of emotion. Got my statement. So we are just about to dump the oil, get your tooling, get your rags. And if you could see how dodgy <laughs> that camera is sitting right now, it's like half balancing on my diff breather slash my leaf pack. But oh well. You know when you say you're gonna take care of something, and then like two minutes later, you're like, ah, she'll be right. That's what's happening right now. This is a really basic service, and obviously a lot of people know how to change the oil in their car. I'm just gonna say a disclaimer, because <laughs> the internet is a harsh place. Like, I do not know everything. I'm still learning. So if like you watch this and you're like, hey, there's a better way of doing that. I am all in. What I'm doing in this video is not like, the way you must change your oil. I normally run the engine before I do this and then sort of let it cool a little bit before I drain the oil. Sort of to just break up anything that might be sitting around and you sort of want to flush out. A few things you learn. Do not sit in the path of the oil. If the oil bung is pointed at something and it doesn't even have to be like this close. Like if this is the oil bung and then there's like a chassis rail over here like no <laughs> it will find its way to hit the chassis rail and it will like go in a completely different direction and there'll be oil everywhere so most sump ones are easy because they're pointed down but you've kind of got to like judge the trajectory to trajectory 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 you've got to judge which way the oil's going to go <laughs> so there'll be like slight angle and if they hit the corner of this and it will go a different direction. Other than that, there's not too much else to it. So we will. Three hours later. Wow, that would have been a sexual space. I normally get it to a couple of threads left. So once you get it to that point, you can sort of just pull down and hold onto that bad boy. Another awesome tip. If you don't want it to shoot everywhere, leave your oil cap on, okay? Because there'll be a pressure difference in your engine. So obviously if your cap is still on, the oil's not gonna come out super fast. Probably should replace my sump washer. She's long gone. Did I buy a new one? No. I normally just clean up the sump plug as best I can, just a bit of degreaser. Make sure there's no old sealant there that's gonna disturb its seating properly. 
obviously replace your washer do not put a washer that in back in that looks like this am I going to yes but I don't recommend it okay so I'm gonna let that drain short person life Alrighty, is this gonna work or not? Or nah, was the correct answer. We're gonna do the oil filter now, which is on the left hand side of the 1HZs. It's a Z334. Uh, it's Normally, for all this stuff, if I was thinking ahead, I would order it online because it's a hell of a lot cheaper, but either way, I never had a problem with Ryko. And I use the Penrite 20 Dub 60 because it's an older engine and she's got bulk K's. So, alrighty, so one of these or any sort of filter strap will do as long as it's something that you can easily get into the spot you're trying to get. I normally get a rag because the oil filter on the 1HZ is angled down. As soon as you pull it off, all the oil goes down, hence all over everything. So I try and catch as most, most of it in the rack. Filming an oil change makes it last so much longer. Right. So I'm gonna undo this filter and try and catch as much oil as I can. Then I just normally get some degreaser and just clean up all of the shit that I spilled. And I'm eating slow so I can understand it fully appreciate Alrighty. Alrighty, so no oil filter, some fresh oil, and I put it on the threads so it doesn't rust up. And I also run it around the rubber o-ring so it doesn't seize. Okay, so everyone's got something different for this process but I go until the o-ring contacts and then probably like one turn one and a quarter turn some of them say on it so it says three quarters but just see how it feels obviously if you go three quarters and it's like loose keep going but you definitely don't want to use any sort of strap to put it back on or you'll have a hard time next time you go to service so that's the o-ring contacting then obviously Ryko is up the front all right so that was about three quarters if you've got extra oil do this a little bit of clear running through and out some plug back in tighten that up and then fill Okay, I've never serviced my car with this ball bar, which is very annoying. It's like the only downfall. Because I used to be able to stand on my ball bar where the PDO sat and change my oil. I am using Penrite. Alrighty, so the whole checking your engine oil. If you check it while it's running or as soon as it's been running, Obviously your oil is going to be in places besides the sump because it gets drawn out of the sump and it lubricates the whole engine. So you've got to sort of wait for it to drain down before you check it. If you check it hot, it's going to be different. Started the cruiser. And I'm gonna go and recheck the oil in a little bit. Eh. Spot ombra. So that's done. I'm gonna go and have a shower because I got grease everywhere. What are you doing in the shower? Shower is not for Mars's. Hope you like it. It's just a basic what I do to my car 
every 5,000. It's nothing overly complicated or exciting or anything like that. In the future, try and do more, such as my possible broken CV at the moment. I went for driving the other day and something went bang. I thought it was my tire, but it wasn't, so that's good. I'll fix that and I will film that for you guys because I tried to film the last CV replacement that I did. For some reason, the videos deleted themselves. I'll try and put together a whole sort of video of pulling apart the hubs, repacking the bearings, putting the CVs back in. I was also gonna mention, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I'll put the link so that you guys can head over there. Majority of what I post is on Instagram. Facebook, I just sort of keep that to friends and family, like people I actually know. Snapchat, I don't really use, like I use it for the filters and then I just save all the photos and put them on Instagram. And now I'm sort of just doing these videos on YouTube. Everything else will be on Instagram. Let me know if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, that way you don't miss anything I upload. Hopefully my videos will be a bit more frequent from now on. We've got Christmas, New Year's, hopefully doing the cape next year. So that will be awesome. And yeah, I'll see you guys around.